All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at the soon-to-be former J.C. Penney store located at the Monmouth Mall in Eatontown, New Jersey. Now, a couple of days ago, it was announced that J.C. Penney uh, would be, or rather, they would be completely liquidating this store. Now, again. Uh, this J.C. Penney store has been an original anchor to the mall since 1975, so it has been at this mall for 47 years, almost making it to half a century. Um, so pretty sick. This is a pretty going to be a pretty significant loss for the mall. Um, the design outside of the building is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to actually get a view of this J.C. Penney store. I haven't done a department store closure, especially to this size, scale, and scope, uh, in a very long time, and you can see it has this weird. And 1970s architecture, which makes this J.C. Penney store pretty much stand out from the pack, at least in um, this region of New Jersey. Um, it'll be really sad to see this store go. I really cannot believe um, this store is closing before. Actually, what I was speculating for a very long time was is that Brunswick Square uh, was going to close before Monmouth Mall, but um, apparently there are already plans in place for this J.C. Penney store. Thus, that is why that it is closing. Uh, there were some clues. There was um, people talking about it. It was really accelerating yesterday and the day before, and now I officially have I have a photo. I do apologize about the quality, but again, no news media outlets have made an article about this. It's probably once I post this video, uh, you guys will most likely be seeing a bunch of articles coming out about this J.C. Penney store. Um, so this J.C. Penney store is closing, unfortunately. Uh, it will be closing in October of 2022. Again, liquidation sales have already started. Uh, 20 to 50 percent off, and the closure has been confirmed by not one but two store employees uh, with inside the J.C. Penney store. So we can officially uh, solidify that this closure has been confirmed. Um, I would imagine that the listing will end up on SB 360 Capital Partners LLC or Hillco uh, probably within the next week or two. So again, it's a pretty it's a pretty uh, interesting looking J.C. Penney store. Um, now, typically at J.C. Penney stores that were built around this era in the uh, 1970s is they would have a, a layout um, of the first two main floors being retail uh, and the third floor being executive offices. Uh, that's how the J.C. Penney did operate back in the day. Um, they would have two retail floors and then the third floor would be um, executive offices like manager, store manager, um, all those types of offices. The break room would be up there. Um, unfortunately, that is something that is not uh, used in 2022, but it was definitely, I guess it was a very popular trend uh, back in the 1970s, um, an era that I wasn't around for, sadly. Um, it would have been nice to see this store thrive, but this ha this has a really cool design, this J.C. Penney store. So that is kind of why I do want to see this store before it does close. Probably going to go, um, if not this week, probably the week after, but probably uh, next week, most likely. Um, and then this mall was actually built on a hill, and this J.C. Penney store also had a staircase, too. Um, one of the very cool and unique features of this uh, department store. I think it's the only anchor spot in the mall to have that staircase. Unfortunately, I think that staircase will be uh, no more because, again, there are plans uh, in place to completely knock down this store uh, and replace it with none other than generic apartments. So, <laughs> of course, uh, that would be a uh, replacement for this type of spot. Oh, you know what? I actually want to get you guys a better view of those stairs because we didn't, we couldn't really get it because the sign was faded out before. Uh, so this is a view of that um, second, uh, those windows, like I was saying before, and you can see the J.C. Penney logo uh, there. This is one portion of the building uh, itself, the glass windows. So uh, this store has some very unique features that I believe that, it, that this that some characteristics that's only at this J.C. Penney store, and not at other, not at any other J.C. Penney stores within within the state of New Jersey. So that is what makes the store stand out, obviously. Uh, that does not seem to be the case anymore. But this is a really freaking cool building. I really do. I actually really do want to see this before it actually does shut down. Uh, so I'll have to make plans and go probably next week um, at some point. So this is the first level of the J.C. Penney store. Again, it has those windows at the corner there. You've got the J.C. Penney sign right there. And you've also got the stairs there as well. Um, but this is unfortunately closing. Um, like I said, the people will be losing their job at this store. Uh, last day is supposed to be October, and if they're doing liquidation now, I would say probably it's going to be the first Sunday in October, which I don't know that when that is, but I would imagine that's when the store's last day of operation will be because this one is not affected by any type of law, so it will most likely close on a Sunday. Or if they run out of inventory, they might even close Saturday. Um, but 
this is a pretty cool store. It'll really be sad to see this store go again. You got those windows. It looks like they got some lights up there or something, or maybe this was like a staircase or something that they had back in the day. Um, obviously, we have the uh, truck tunnels. Let's go back to the truck tunnels real quick. This is where they would get all the merchandise. I doubt they use any of these uh, bays anymore. They only use like one one per week. Um, they just don't get as many deliveries as, say, Macy's would. But, again, this is going to be really sad to see this J.C. Penny go. Um, like, again, this store had some really cool architecture, and I'm really sad that it's going. I, I really wish I had gotten to know the store a lot better. Um, but it will be nice to see it and visit it for one last time because this store is now confirmed to be closing. Uh, so we have, let's start out here. So we have the south entrance of the store. Um, the west portion goes with inside the mall. The north portion does not have an entrance. It's just really a bunch of truck tunnels and stuff. We cannot get a view there. And then finally, the... Um, I think this is the that I think that's the southeast portion which heads towards the Jersey Shore and I believe there's a, there's two entrances down here so so getting so after taking a look at this JC Penny store this is where I got my confirmation from uh, one of one of my uh, viewers actually went out to the JC Penny store today uh, and he got this picture I, I and I apologize if it is blurry um, but it does look like that they are closing because as you can clearly see here uh, we can clearly see that there are liquidation signs within the store, which, as everybody knows, what liquidation sales signs means is that the store is going to be closing. Uh, again, so this store will be closing by October of 2022, and this J.C. Penney store will be no more. So the only J.C. Penney store left in Monmouth County, uh, once this J.C. Penney store closes at the Monmouth Mall, will be the J.C. Penney store at the Freehold Raceway Mall in Freehold, New Jersey. So again, uh, this is breaking news. Uh, again, no news media outlets have this uh, out yet, so this is an exclusive. Um, and again, I wish nothing but the best for the JCPenney employees at the Monmouth Mall store in Eatontown, New Jersey, that will be losing their job uh, in October of 2022. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.